Hi, I'm Vera. I'm one of the nurses here. Just to meet you. I'm going to take you. Without Mankato's open door health clinic, quite a few Minnesotans would have no way to afford some of the most basic medical care. My husband had insurance. He had worked uh, for 21 years at a job, and then he had four heart attacks, and they ended up basically letting him go, and the insurance got dropped. Oh, my name is Dan Starrett, and uh, I used to be a truck driver, but um, in July of '09, I had congestive heart failure, and they took my medical card away, so I'm no longer able to, to work. When you lose everything, it, it takes it takes a lot to climb out of how depressing that is. They're going to do him randomly throughout the to find people like uh, here that really care, that really see a need. I can't think of enough. <laughs> Open Door is one of 18 federally qualified community health centers around Minnesota. The whole premise of community health centers is how do we provide effective low-cost care to patients that have particular barriers to being served. People need to have good health care to keep them productive in society. If people are sick, they're going to have a poor attendance at work, kids won't learn as well at school, and so we want to we help people be productive members of society. Our patient population is predominantly people who are between insurance, have recently lost their insurance, or never had insurance to begin with. Uh, I live in a real fi low fixed income um, without clinics like this. We would go without medical care, we'd go without dental care, and especially mental health care, because the more we struggle, the harder and harder it is. Focusing on preventative care for those without affordable medical access helps control long-term costs for the entire system. It's a step in the right direction, but it doesn't excuse policymakers from finding a sustainable solution.